Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and today I'm gonna be reviewing a new features in After Effects CS6. There is, um, there are uh, tons of new features in After Effects CS6 but I love these two new features which is 3D Tracker and 3D Text. And today I'm gonna be reviewing those features and I love it love it so much it could save you a lot of time because back in the day you know before after effects yes six as you as you know if you if you want to make some let's say 3d tags in some scene like this of course you have to 3d track this scene first in 3d tracker program like buju or pf track and then if you want to make a 3d text you, you also have to um, create some 3d 3d text in like software 3d software like 3d max or cinema 4d and then you can go back to after effects and it's a very long routine but now you can do it all in after effects and it has to be after effects yes six in its new features all right so um as you can see here i already got a clip in here let's say i'm gonna uh put some 3d text on the clip right here so all i have to do now is click the um layer video and go to animation and then track camera and the amazing thing about this is it's analyzing in the background it means that um it will not make your computer laggy and you can still you know um add another effects while is um tracking in the background so uh, as you can see here, it's actually um, tracking really fast. As you can see, here, try time remaining is one minute. It's not that long, but I'm just gonna pause it until it finished. Alright, guys. As you can see here, um, the the tracking already done, and as you can see, is create a bunch of dots right here that represent a 3D environment in my clip right here. So now, as you can see here, we got already have this bunch of dots. Um, if we want to, let's say, create some text in this area, all you're gonna do is um, move your mouse into that area until uh, you know you see some something like a darts um, <laughs> right here, and then you're gonna right click and you get a bunch of options here like create solid and camera, create no object and a camera, and you're gonna create text and a camera, and I'm just gonna click that and it automatically creates some text so um if you can see as you can see here if we uh ramp preview this the text is already tracked in 3d environment on this clip as you can see here it's like the text is really there amazing and how fast it is <laughs> really really crazy now um uh let's we gonna i'm just gonna try to rotate this so you can see it more clearly like so and as you can see here the text is already tracked on this clip now what about if you want to make the text 3d <laughs> it's also really really easy all you're gonna do is um, go to composition and then composition settings and go to add advanced right here and then on the renderer tab here go from classic 3d uh, maybe your default will be cl classic 3d all you're gonna do is change it into ray trace 3d and then on the option here if you have some massive you know really fast computer maybe you can uh, set this to ooh, like a lot of amount here but my computer seems to <laughs> really slow so I'm just gonna uh, change it to one draft so it will not have uh, took a long time to render so okay okay and there you go now if you already active activate those ray trace 3d all you gotta do is click on the text and if your text is already 3d you will have this geometry options and open that up and you will have a bunch of options here so you can uh as you see his extrusion depth if you um try to play with it and as you can see here the tracks is already 3d and if you want to add some uh, you know um, stroke all you're gonna do is double click and you will have this um, character and paragraph and uh, you can make some stroke here and to make the stroke 
uh, uh, visible all you gotta do is go to bevel style and change it to uh, maybe convex right here and you, you can already see the strokes and um, to uh, make the stroke is even bigger you can go to bevel depth and just play with it and add you can, as you can see here it's already create some uh, strokes um, so guys as you can see here we create some 3d text and track it into a 3d environment all of that in After Effects CS6. It's crazy. And I got a, another example here. I made it all in After Effects as you can see here. And if you're gonna rotate this camera, as you can see here. Alright, so as you can see here, if you rotate this, you can already see it is in 3D and all of it created in After Effects CS6. I add some I added some light here so it casts some shadows and etc. Uh, maybe you're just gonna try it yourself. Alright guys so this is um, supposed to be a tutorial about these two new features in After Effects CS6 so if you already bought it um, have fun with it <laughs> And uh, yeah, see you in the next cool tutorial and review. Uh, hopefully this video will help you out if you already have After Effects CS6. Alright guys, so my name is Star from Star Artist Movie. See you in the next cool videos and tutorials. Ciao.